So Palantir has been trading at the same level for a very long time. If you look at the chart, the stock has not really moved much. And if you plot that on the price chart, then the stock has moved 15 to 20% up and down since March. Now it's sitting at the same level as it was in March of this year. So why would you want to invest your money with no end in sight for return? For all of us, those who love this company, it's the future we invest in. And for those who do not believe in Palantir, let me share a few details with you so you can see what's going on internally and why some of us are so bullish. And for those who love Palantir, well, you're going to enjoy the details. So we are going to look at few things in this presentation. Let's talk about everything Palantir, the topic that everyone who does not want to invest in Palantir talks about. So let's start with some facts. Here is a chart of Palantir all the way from beginning of this year. And the yellow line is where the price is right now. Right here, as you can see, this is the price right now. So as you can see that the price has danced around this range for a very long time. I mean, this is the beginning of the year. It went down, it crossed the price, and then it came back down, and then it crossed again. It's like $22 to $24. And then it went up all the way to about $29.29, as you can see over here. And then it came back down again, and it's sitting at that level of about $24.69 when I'm recording this video. Now, while we are on this topic, let's discuss the elephant in the room. So Alex Karp sold some more shares. And there was an article in the Wall Street Journal I'm going to bring your attention to right here. It's payday for startup CEOs. And our Alex Karp is right in the middle over here, as you can see. So Alex Karp was in the middle with a payout of about $1.1 billion. This is a very big question for a few folks. Anytime someone had a disagreement with me when I have spoken in favor of Palantir, their first argument is that the company execs are getting rich on shareholders' money. Now, we know that as management, you get share or options assigned to you, and then you execute them according to the terms. Mostly, all the latest selling that has happened inside Palantir has been where the options were assigned and then sold off because of the expiry date. Take a look here. The article that you see on your screen right now is from July of 2021. Actually, exact date is July 8th of 2021. And they're saying that Alex Carp has sold 638,629 shares right here. Now pay attention to the number and keep this number in mind. So as early as last week, Alex Carp sold a staggering number of shares. Again, see this plot right here. This is Alex selling his shares right here. So he sold on the 12th, on the 13th and on the 14th. Now, all of these shares were exactly 638,629 shares. In July, the same number of shares were sold. In October, the same number of shares were assigned on the 14th and right after that were sold on the 14th. So these are all predetermined number of shares that gets allotted the same day and sold the same day straightforward option assignment and I checked all three and they were the exact number of shares as they mentioned in July right here. So it has nothing to do with Palantir went up two bucks, they came and they sold. It's not about that they're making money on us. They don't care about $2 or a dollar price of the share. These are all predetermined exercised option that needs to or that will expire if they don't do it. Now, this is going to continue till the end of the year as he has a lot of options expiring, Alex himself, and there are a few others by December 31st of 2021. Let's take a look at some other bullish things that happened towards the end of September. So a total of right here, as you can see, a total of six institutional investors increased their position in Palantir by almost 5 million share. Not, these are not new institutions that got added or that they got into Palantir. These are all the institutions that were already in Palantir and they increase their position right here. One, two, three, four, five, and six, as you can see. So all these folks right here increase their position in Palantir. They are seeing the potential in the company and they're increasing their position or their share in Palantir. Three new institutional investors started a new position right here as of September 30th. These three new funds that came in and then bought around 300,000 share here, 3.6 million share over here, 414,000 shares over here. So these three added position or started a new position in Palantir. Only one right here cap rock group decreased by about 326,057 shares as you can see over here. So not only the strong institutional support Palantir has recently received, which is really, really exciting as you can see over here, six opened new, three or six increased and three opened new. 
Now, along with that, the media is also getting around Palantir. Take a look at this chart right here. So the chart on your screen is a media sentiment from July to October and then from January to March of this year. So in the last three months, we have seen more good press for Palantir as compared to January and March or the beginning of this year. We had a huge negative press around that time. As you can see, this big red bars, that is all the press talking about Palantir in a negative way. And then in the last three months, we see all these positive things happening over here for Palantir. In August first week, it happened and then it happened again towards September end. It has to do something with all these funds, adding the stock or increasing their position or adding Palantir in the funds. So I really think that more and more institutions are getting around the fact that Palantir is a growth company and is sitting at a very attractive price point for the long term. Now I know you can argue the valuation or the share price, but these institution and some of us bet on the long game and not the short term profit. So I bought Palantir, few shares of Palantir actually last year and I have not sold a single share. Now I'm not adding any more shares and my focus is to make money using the shares that I have right now and also playing some options as we near the earnings in November. I will add some more after the earnings. Do I think there are other companies to make better return in the short term? Yes, absolutely. But this is a long term play and a long term hold for me. Let me know in the comments how do you plan to play Palantir stock or how are you playing the Palantir stock and what do you do with your holding? And if you have any special Palantir trades for Q3 earnings, please do share with all of us because I love reading your comments. And I'm going to link my Palantir checkmate video over here and I suggest that you do check it out for some more insights on the company and how they will dominate the data and AI in the future. And if you enjoy videos like this, then hit the like button and consider subscribing so you do not miss out the future videos. As always, an absolute pleasure to share all of this with you. Until next time, you all have a sparkling day.